first down. Dixon. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. It's got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. The first carry now, this is Johnson. The numbers for Johnson in last week's game, 15 carries, 81 yards. They've won two straight games, and they've done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. Looking to throw on second down, Dixon. And this is incomplete. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Well, he tried to bounce it outside, but that's obviously not his game. He's too much of a straight line runner. Yeah, him in the outer third of the field, not a recipe for success. That time a loss. Second down now. It's Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and ten. Time to look at the defensive starters for the New York Giants. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. One thing players always tell us is that they never really pay attention to numbers. I don't believe them for a second. <laughs> they know where they rank, okay? They're, they're, you know, they're not quite at the top but they're far from the bottom. But let's face it, they want to move up. In order to do that, they've got to look at each other and make sure everyone's taking care of their assignments in order to play the run better. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. So now the Packers turn things over to the special teams crew. They're on for the field goal try. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. That's running out of steam and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. And New York set to take the field. All right, try the 50-yarder and miss it, and now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. They'll run on first down. Lester. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well.
Second down, Lester. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Better ball security, but not much else to show for it. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 18 carries, 72 yards, and a touchdown. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. He'll drop the throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. On first down, Lester. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Back to throw. Gonna throw deep for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And his kick here is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second down and inches. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Dixon. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. 
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Back to throw. Dixon. He's got it. Hit the 15. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers have taken the lead. And he had time there. I mean, you give any quarterback that length of time, he'll make you pay. It just puts way too much stress on guys trying to cover downfield because, as you said, you're not much time in the pocket. He can scan the field, find the open person. That's exactly what happened there. And what was the end result again? Touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And the result, a Green Bay score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. A well-executed 22-yard gain. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Just like that, just like that. They'll run on first down. Lester, give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Looking to throw. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. After one, 7 3, the score on EA Sports. The Giants on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 14. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there, now it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why, looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And now they'll look to extend that lead. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever's in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. From the gun, Dixon. 
And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. On the ground, this is Johnson. Little power on the move that time, but still tackled shy of the 20. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. To throw on third down, Dixon. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Now that's a defensive coordinator's nightmare right there. You're covering everyone, and the guy who's not even the intended receiver ends up making the play. Right place, right time, I guess. When that ball's tipped up in the air like that, you've got to go up and get it. Offense and defense, and in this case, the offense ended up grabbing it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A quick handoff to Vitale. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Looking to throw, Dixon. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Packers. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit him with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give him some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. Now the try here for the pulling after. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. On first down, Lester. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. He'll look to throw. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover it? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. throw here that's complete and they go backwards here losing yardage back at the 48 yard line they completed the screen on the perimeter but boy that was textbook defense exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage Room to run 
inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On play action, they'll throw. Trying to lay one up deep. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down. And they may be going backward here. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. As his guys are in for six. As his guys are back within a single score. So a nice touchdown pass for the rookie there. And, you know, as they go down the stretch, look, they're not a playoff team. This is just confidence building and growth time for him, right? Yes, yeah, the game within the game, isn't it? Because every team wants to win all games on their schedule. But the development of this rookie quarterback is paramount for this team. So you're exactly right. Every rep, doesn't matter what the game, what the situation, what the score, valuable for him, valuable for his team as they look towards next year. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. A drive that time of six plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and throw them on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. And all the way down to the 26. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively. What do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out. So two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. You fill up your lungs <laughs> a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush to help slow them down. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Dixon. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. From 13 yards out. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. 
Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Extra point forthcoming. It's good, and it's 21-10. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the result, a Green Bay score. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. They'll run on first down. Lester, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. That's a microcosm of how it's gone for their rushing game so far this year, 29th in the league on the ground. Yeah, it's a great illustration of what we're seeing because these problems go back to the offensive line. You can't give guys free access to your backfield. Can't let these free runners come and get them because free runners turn into free hitters. They'll set up to throw. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. Well, it's looking like another three and out here. And at some point, you got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. And the Giants send out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fielded at the 33. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And it's been a good game for him to this point, Charles. They're winning on the scoreboard. they got to be feeling pretty good. And it's always fun for them when they're not just winning on the scoreboard, but they're contributing in a big way. As you see him throwing touchdown passes, watching this video here. It's got to be a fun time for him and a relaxed time because nothing is pressing. Relaxed, cool, calm, collective, all those things describing him right now. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. If you love pressure, I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Wide open receiver complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. you that coming up at halftime will join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Back to throw. Dixon firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. From 17 yards out. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He, he's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Second and 10. Got a man on the right sideline. That's Lawson. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. This quarterback now... 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Lawson. And it's a fumble, and the Packers pick it up. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. A throw on the quick slant going to be complete. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Looking to throw, Dixon, and that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. 
Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. We'll see if he can look and do some soul searching now. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll drop the throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They'll look to throw. Packer pressure, and down he goes. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we... You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The New York set to take the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this you're going to do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Second and nine now. He went backwards there, eight yards, and it brings up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now back to throw. Oh, wide open, complete. The 20, 10, touchdown, Giants. A big play there, 82 yards. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple more times to give them a chance. Now the try here for the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. 
Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. 13 yards, first down Packers. Throwing on first down. Dixon. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Dixon. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 13 yards, first down Packers. Looking to throw. Dixon. This will be caught inside the 10. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, you think he loved the protection he had there all kinds of time. And you're so right. How could you not love that? Great protection. The big guys up front really locked in on it. No one gets near the quarterback. He's got all the time in the world to survey the field and deliver for a first down. And the big boys up front, a big reason why they're also winning, too. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. It's the fullback. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. That time, a six-play drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He'll look to throw. Going for the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 35. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up. And they are shredding them in this ball game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. They're going to look to throw. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Call that a very strong gain of 24. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Second and three. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. From three yards out, and the Giants are able to cut into this lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was finished up by a touchdown by the New York Giants. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. Really solid effort for him right now. Third quarter, already four touchdown passes. How many can he get here? That remains to be seen, but I know one thing. You and I will be here to watch, and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> With what he's doing in this contest, I'm not, I'm not missing a minute of it. This guy's been spectacular. Yeah, I mean, it's a team game, but sometimes these individual performances are fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes they just kind of come to the front, despite the fact, as you said, we know it's all about the team. But the way he's playing, he's trying to make his team win on his back. Yeah, it's been exciting. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. He's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 22. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Here's Johnson. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. throw here that's complete and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36 they'll get three as the drive continues it's a first down now a 10th carry for Johnson nothing doing barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35 to throw on second down. Dixon. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That catch good for five. It's third down. Back to throw. Dixon. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that plays over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. Fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. 
And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Time has expired on this third quarter. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. The first down carry here for Johnson. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. A loss of two there, second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Again, it's Johnson. He will push his way down to about the 14. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And this one is right through. And that will get the lead up to 14. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no good plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he comes back with one complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. This quarterback now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad, first and 10. First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. He'll drop to throw, and his throw is going to be incomplete. The Giants on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and 10. 
Back to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 25-yard line. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now, this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. And they keep those sticks moving forward, that time with a gain of three. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll wind up getting ten back as that sets him up for third down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. The offense on third down tonight, they've been really good, converting seven of their ten tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That'll go as a loss of five. And that's going to make it fourth down. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on four. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second down now, it's Johnson. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 
42 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. It's in the fourth quarter down in Miami. The Dolphins continuing to add on. They are really rolling. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And an alley to run. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Holding offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one. And the flag came out. Penalty against him. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he comes back with one complete. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. Starting to look like this drive it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through, and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for the